Again, there's okay, bitter. At least I know my heart's working and my hearing's working. <laughs> You're well, welcome. I was concerned about those two coming into this panel. Yeah. <laughs> um, So you guys having fun this weekend? Yeah. Okay, so this is what I always want to know. Cake or pie? about going to his grocery store and getting 10% off. Imagine, once you turn 65, if you go to a grocery store on a Wednesday morning, you get 10% off your food. Oh, wow. Can you imagine going to a grocery store on a Wednesday morning? Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of life is that? What kind of sad a senior life, life is that? A retired life. Did you get to Yep. Oh, Listen, I'm 30, I'm not that old. So it's 9 o'clock. I just turned 29. Uh, two days ago. No. Hey, I turned 29 a day ago. Ah, oh, uh, two days, man. I mean, I got you. Oh, oh my. Am I the oldest person on this panel? Yeah, probably. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to ask you. How old are you? 30. Oh, thank God. How old? I'm 29 for two more weeks. Huh? Congratulations. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> No, actually, well, no, um, Minty, to ask your, answer your question earlier, um, this should be fine, I'm not, because we're not showing videos on this, this is more just like a supplement, Perfect. so whatever exposure you had on there is fine. Yep. Perfect. Also, thank you for, for recording, because I will ask you for it later. Alrighty. Alrighty. Do you like ponies? Yeah. 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 Good answer. Get in the comments. Actually, you should have said, um, Actually, I love ponies. Um, actually, get in the comments. If you understood that reference, I love you. Everyone, uh, everyone, uh, everyone liking this Beetlejuice musical pre-show video? I was wondering what that was. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you can you can look it up on YouTube. It's 45 minutes of just the pre-show music. Well, yeah. I'm now absolutely asleep too next week. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that is it then. That, this was this is all that I brought this speaker for. Great job, everybody! The right. alternative would be to get the sound working, but that's that's a miracle. That you mean the y alternative? Y yeah. alternative. <laughs> oh. I voiced this on you guys. <laughs> well. Uh, I think we can get started then. All right, thank you everyone so much for coming. Uh, this is uh, my first ever panel. Um, I'm so proud of you, Mary Molly! Yeah, the first panel that I did, that I thought of conceived by myself previously, I did um, interview Great Lyle at BabsCon last year, if anyone was there for that. That was harrowing. This is even more harrowing because there was I there was nothing, you know, I was making this whole thing for myself. Because I'm here. Exactly. No, and here. what's the what easy what is the easiest way to create a panel than just to put ponies onto something that already exists? Um, I guess survey in the room here, uh, does anyone not know about the dropout show um actually? No. God? Okay, right. Get in the comments! Okay, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, okay. Uh, does, uh, does anyone not know who I am? I need a more concern about that. You can, be you can be truthful. It's fine. 
because I'm not really a, I'm not really a face, and I know that. That's why I got these people here. Well, um, good people giving you a chance. I know, right? That's great, and I'm so so appreciated. Um, so then, I'll give you just a little information about me. Uh, my name is Alex. Um, I also have a little Yoshi friend named Sherbet there. Um, I am from Sonoma County, California. Uh, that is where all the wine comes from. Uh, I have been in this fandom since uh, April, uh, June 2011. Uh, I have been attending conventions for 10 years uh, as of this year, with my first convention being uh, Everfree Northwest 2013. Uh, I have attended two conventions, and then all the other ones I have worked, uh, volunteered for, specific, mostly specifically in the VIP or guest relations department. And I'm very fortunate for all the opportunities that I've had in that department. Uh, you may have no you may have noticed me uh, in this actual ad for the <laughs> Super Mario Brothers <laughs> movie, where uh, yeah, I made this I made this tweet, um, which the full this is not the full tweet. The full tweet read: Third time seeing the Mario movie. Uh, this time at my local theater, I have five days off ahead of me. I'm going to see it more times. And so then suddenly, I get this email from Universal Studios um, ask me, hey, can we have permission to use a tweet of yours? They don't tell me what tweet it is. Um, but I like, double checked. I also checked through the other people who also got solicited by Universal. Seemed legit enough. So I put in my email address, you know, giving the permission and such. And then I see this. And that's amazing. Uh, by the way, uh, that is uh, Baja Griffin's work um, and as my profile pic there. Uh, so how many times did you watch the movie in total? I watched the movie 10 times. <laughs> and if the next Mario movie is as great as it's going to be, uh, I'm probably, I will hope to double it. Um, also, quick theater tip, by the way. Um, do not ever go to Regal 4DX. That is the worst theater experience I've ever been to, and I've, just, and I've been to bad movies. I've been to movies that play the wrong movies, and I've played... I saw Toy, I saw Toy Story 3 in Ohio once, where... Um, it started playing the two thousand. Where it started playing the two thousand nine Astro Boy movie. Oh, what? Uh, and then, uh, and then after the movie was over, it cut the audio during the credits of Toy Story three. Anyway, so. Wait, you said watch it. I said do not watch it in Regal four DX. You said watch Astro Boy. Though? No, 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 because they stopped it and then they so actually the played Toy Story. Yes, we will. Um, yeah, let's get to let's get back to the actual show here. Not enough about me, and let's go to these amazing people. Uh, first, we have Taylor here, all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada. Big, big Kyle Busch fan there. Um, I got uh, I got I found these buzzers online, um, and they all uh, able are able to be recordable. Um, so Taylor, would you please push the button and put and see what your buzzer is today? I am totally scared right now. Uh, <laughs> no, the speaker's on the other side. So. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's a, that's a really crackly clip of uh, Starlet saying, Phyllis, no! Oh. <laughs> I know, right? I'm, I'm scared now. Um, uh, Minty, uh, I get the uh, one. amazing, amazing animator. And <laughs> that is a that is a clip of the Bojack Horseman uh, intro from in the 90s, that was in the from your uh, TV show. from your uh, yeah from your anthology work there. Yep. And if you pat this down to Nora, Nora. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful lady there from from Miami. Love going to Miami Beach there. Nora, would you please uh, uh, reveal your buzzer, please? Pray for me. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, hold up the speaker. It's on the other side up to the mic. So that is a clip of uh, Gabe Brown on the on uh, America's Got Talent. Of course. Anyway, so that was just a little fun. That's just a little fun thing. Oh, I just oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. it's during the semi 
semifinals. Yeah, it's doing the semifinals. And he's and he's in this Mickey Mouse doing a million dreams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hate you so much. <laughs> All right, so um, and your introductions out of the way. This is going to go a lot quicker now. Um, so uh, for those who don't know, um, actually is a show on Dropout, formerly College Humor. Woo yeah, love it. Uh, only what was it five dollars a month? It yeah. still is five dollars a month. So just five dollars a month, and you can watch it on M on all of your devices. And it's really good. It still supports the yeah, people that are behind it, and it's ethical. Exactly, exactly. It's all it's all created, you know, in house. No corporate overlords there. They they went through that all themselves. Um, and the game is really um, the game is uh, really simple. Um, I have here a series of statements uh, that are all incorrect, and the job of these three here is to find the correction. There are only two rules. Uh, the first rule is that all answers must be preceded by the phrase "um actually." If you do not say "um actually," I will not give you the point. And the second rule is that you may interrupt me at any time to buzz in and answer. That is totally okay. Just like those this? two. <laughs> exactly. Um, and also, just for the the effect of the buzzer, you may want to put that to the mic when you buzz in. I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't make sense, or I know it doesn't make sense oh, speed wise. Um, but it's you know anyway, because otherwise I may not be able to hear very well. All right, um, we're just gonna do a quick example so that we can warm you all up and uh, and warm up the uh, the audience here. So, when Twilight Sparkle first meets Rainbow Dash in Ponyville, Twilight doubts Rainbow's ability to clear the clouds from the sky. Uh, yeah. I think, oh, um, actually, it's ten seconds flat. That is correct. Uh, that's right. Rainbow Dash clears the sky in ten seconds. Well, I, sh I guess I guess this could be a su I guess this could be a sub rule. Um, at least have me read at least read to the part yeah. when you when you hit that. I know because it says this is you're here. wrong. Yeah. Didn't say what? Yeah, I know. I was I was thinking. I was thinking that you know the audience would see this and then you would just listen to me talk. So I mean, that's I'm kind aware, of, that's kind of more like the show. I know, but the, sh the show is you can interrupt any time. Get can't. in the comments, please tell them I'm right. <laughs> that is semantics. Um, actually, we're not gonna have a comment section and label it for kids. <laughs> um, actually, get in the Ponytown server. They're still watching. Uh, is it 18 plus? Can I say the... Uh, oh yeah, this is 100% 18. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> you get it, YouTube? This is not for kids. I'm actually screwing you! Alright. Alright, so, uh, are we all warmed up? Because I can guarantee you all, the questions will not be as easy as this. Because this is, this is intentionally easy as a warm-up. Bring it, boy. Alright. Alright, here is our first question. Don't look at the screen. The music of Friendship is Magic sets Don't itself away. apart from most yeah. kids' shows. With songs like Winter Wrap-Up, Castle, Sweet Castle, and The Last Laugh, incredible care and passion is devoted to elevate what could be boring songs. These songs are created by Daniel Ingram, who writes the music for all of these special tunes. Uh, yes, Taylor. Um, actually, Castle Sweet Castle is actually an episode from the series. That is correct. Now, uh, that is correct. Now, uh, do you know what the actual title of that song is? Wow. Hold on, give him a chance and then we'll go to Nora. Castle Sweet Castle. <clears throat> it's been such a long time since this is a show. Um, I'm drawing a blank here. Okay, Nora. Um, actually, to make this castle a home. That is correct. Nora gets the point. <laughs> All right, here comes our next question. In the season finale episode, Return of Harmony, written by M.A. Larson, the evil Draconicus Discord is freed from his stone prison and attacks the main six through emotional manipulation, causing all of them to... Oh, yes, Minty. Uh, actually, it didn't turn Fluttershy uh, uh, basically through uh, emotional manipulation. He used just dark magic, saying, Oh, for goodness sake, time to make you cruel. That is, that is correct. That was not exactly what I was going for, actually. <laughs> but 
So um, I will I will give you the I will give you the point there, Minty. Um, does uh, does anyone can anyone notice? Oh, does can anyone oh. notice what the uh, actual correction that I was going for is, Nora? Um, actually, this wasn't written by M. A. Larson. Incorrect. Oh. No, okay. I can answer that. Um, Return to Harmony is actually a season premiere episode. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> it is a season, it is a he, season he didn't premiere. say about actually. He didn't say about actually. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. No, that that's fine. But if, the more it's the um actually part. He didn't say um actually. Yes, I did. Oh, he did. Yes, I did. Uh, could you have the audience? Yeah, uh, yeah, audience. You can also you can also spot us on this. Um, actually, he did. He, he did. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We'll take it. Um, yeah. So uh, this was act, this is kind of like a like a weird production thing. But this uh, Return of Harmony was initially supposed to be a season finale. Um, you can kind of tell because the end credits are written in the Arial, are written in the season one style font before they switch to Ariel for season two and onward. That's like a little little technical thing. That does explain it. All right. So we got. Uh, let's see. So, uh, looks like everyone is tied uh, one apiece. Wait, 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 the, wait, the first, first question I got? Um, that one with Rainbow Dash, yeah, that was an example. Oh, come on! I said that it was a warm-up. All right, here we go. All right, going on to the next question. Everyone loves a good book, even athletic ponies like Rainbow Dash. And we... Uh, actually, she was not a princess at that point. You, you read ahead of me, but yes, that is correct. <laughs> Twilight was not a princess yet because this is a season two episode. Oh my god! I understood yeah. you two correctly. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yeah. Um, also, um, I do want to acknowledge Do the Daring Do, uh, who uh, who originally wrote this question. He did a version of this at Harmony Con previously. And he sent me he sent me over some of the questions that he did, and so I've taken some of them, modified them slightly, but I will give credit to any of the questions that uh, do the daring do wrote. Uh, and you can also see him at the concert as well because he, he is performing. Or today, I don't remember. Great. Uh, he, he already did. He already performed at the gallery. You already finished. Oh, yeah. oh okay. damn. All right, going on to the next question. I uh, forgot my point. Oh, I did forget your point, Nancy. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, because they don't, they don't actually see it better. All right, going on, next question. The fandom wins big in the 100th episode, Slice of Life, where we meet a variety of background characters, including Lyra and Butt Arnie. Um, actually... Uh, hey, 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 I, I was first. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did! Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, DJ Pony does not speak that at is, all! That is correct. DJ Pony does not, never speaks, in fact. Um, the general head canon that I've, and probably many others, accepted is that Hasbro was not able to voice match uh, Jesse Nowak's voice uh, because he has such a distinctive voice. They were able to voice match Eile uh, Monty's voice, though, right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Going forward, though, um, I would like to kind of emphasize to at least for you folks up here to have me at least speak through where it is, and then you can interrupt me from there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a good idea. I know. I know. I understand. I understand. But I just thought how the game was playing. I know. I know. It's well. It was because I thought that this was going to be in a different position where you wouldn't have been able to see it. But that was Wait, that. do you want us just not to look at the screen at all? Yeah, for, um, yes. Okay. It's, a bit, it's a bit more like the sh it's, it's more like the show. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, actually, we won't be using the screen that much for this because we are going on to our first shiny question. Uh, shiny questions, much like shiny Pokemon, uh, are a little bit different, a little bit rare, but they are worth the same number of points. Um, so uh, let me get uh, let me get set up here. Uh, for the purposes of this, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to be sending uh, I'm going to be sending an image uh, to our uh, Twitter DM group here because it just makes a lot more sense. Uh, let me just get that there. Technology people. Yeah, exactly. Right. Because otherwise, I'd have to print these out on sheets of paper, and that that just wouldn't make any sense. Uh, this shiny question is called "Spot the Difference." Um, I am going to be uh, I'm going to be uh, showing an image. 
and then the contestants here will need to tell me what is different. So, here is that image. Uh, oh, you can also, uh, I can't see it again. Yeah. Well, I guess actually in this case you can look at the screen because it's the same as what everyone oh, else sees. Uh, God. For, you know, early installment weirdness, I'm just, yeah, just get figuring this out as I go. What looks, uh, what? Uh, yes, Nora? Um, actually the lightning bolts are different colors. Incorrect. Oh. Um, actually, in that scene, she was facing Sunset Shimmer, not Flash Sentry. Incorrect. Uh, yes. Well, no. Um, actually, the shoes are different. She was in also incorrect. Taylor? Um, actually, Flash's pants are different. Incorrect. It sounds like we got a bit of a Sounds like we got a bit of a stumper here. Nora? Um, actually, it's supposed to be Sunset Shimmer? Uh, incorrect. Yes. 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 Oh, I did it now. Now, now, Minty, I think I might give you the point because you were kind of, almost, kind of there. Um, what was different there was uh, tr that's Trixie. Oh! Oh! I was actually kind of nervous because uh, Minty, you work in VFX, and so I was afraid that you were. I couldn't the... tell the shadow was a bit off. On well, it. not just that, but also that it was also kind of not the same resolution as the rest of the scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, like, yeah. And yes, I was... The thing is that the drop shadow and the version you have as a slight blur, they did not use that technique in the first EQG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, it, it's, oh yeah, yeah, now it looks better. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's, all right, so that's, uh, that is our first shiny question, and Minty, um, I forget what you buzzed in with. I was uh, Sunset Shimmer? Uh, yeah, it was Sun, yeah, that was it, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna, well, I guess the main thing was that that was not actually Flash, so, um, yeah, so I, so you did, so you did, you, you did, essentially kind of get where we're going, so I, guess I, I can give you the point there. 50%! Yeah. It, it counts. It, it technically counts. Yeah. So, uh, no, so, it, it counts, it counts. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so point check here. We got Nora with two points, Minty with three, and Taylor with one. Uh, but there's still, there's still a lot of questions to go, uh, so let's get to our next question. So I should not look? Yes, yes, please. Yeah. If you if you would. All right. The actors who bring the pony characters to life have some cool accomplishments for themselves beyond the microphone. For example, the voice of Arya Blaze played Meg Geary in the Phantom of the Opera. The um, yes, this is actually it. Arya Blaze is not part of the main series. Uh, hmm, that is incorrect. Uh, That's for, right, no. for example, the voice of Arya Blaze played Meg Geary in The Phantom of the Opera. The voice of Applejack is lead singer and jazz flautist for the band Hey Ocean. And the voice of Fluttershy has a degree in engineering. Uh, Nora? Um, actually, is degree in architecture? Yeah, yeah um... Uh, I'm, that's not what we're. That's not what I'm actually going for here, and I do actually need a fact. I do need actually to fact check that at some point, but that is not what we're going for. But it's not engineering. Um, I don't. I don't I think, fully. I'm pretty know sure that. it's engineering. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank. Thank you. Yeah. Because it's such an amazing fact that it just glued myself. Glued I knew she had to read something. I just thought of it as like architecture. Uh, any, anything else? Any, anyone else? Uh, uh, yes, Nora? Um, actually, actually, Ball can't play the flute. No, she actually does play the flute. Oh my, seriously? <laughs> yeah, she does. Abs yeah, absolutely does. She plays it frequently on Hey Ocean songs. Oh my god, she's like and, Mike Lizzo! Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess we're gonna call this a wash. Uh, I talk, I said pony characters. Aria Blaze is not a pony. Oh god! <laughs> She is a siren, which is not a pony. Despite what all the fan artists decided to draw them all as ponies, they're not actually ponies. Through the rules. What? What? Sorry. No, actors. Actor is a gender neutral term. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, let's keep going. 
The Dazzlings became a pretty intimidating trio in Equestria Girl's Rainbow Rocks. We all got to see a really good sample of their power with songs like Under Our Spell, which sent the cafeteria into a competition hazed frenzy as students were quick to want to yes Taylor. Um, actually, it was Let's Have a Battle. That is correct. Uh, that, is, ah! that is correct. That was the song. I love the band. Ah! That's right. Cafe that was the song that was done in the cafeteria. Uh, and that was another question uh, written by Do the Daring Do. Uh, I do really appreciate him uh, helping me fill these out. All right, well, that was great. Uh, let's go. Oh, oh my goodness, I have not been uh, I have not been keeping track of points, and I feel so bad about that. Oh, that's right. No, the last one was a wash, and this one was uh, was Taylor. Great, Taylor got a point. All right. I got a point. You got a point. Technically, he's got. Um, actually, he's got two points. He does. Correct. No points, though, Norm. Brownie oh. points. Yes, very much brownie points. All right, next uh, question. Starlight Glimmer came into the show at the beginning of season five as a villain and then returned at the end of the season to get revenge on Twilight by traveling through time to prevent her and her friends from getting their cutie marks. Yes, Nora. Um, actually, we saw her in one of the episodes before then. Uh, in uh, before season five? No, in no in season five before the finale. Yep. Uh, that's not what we're going for, but yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's right. But yeah, well, return like gr like actually fully returned is. Yeah. is but what she we're was in about. a restaurant. In she is yes, yeah, she is in the background, but not actually doing anything. I know, I know. You you do have the idea, but you do have the idea completely locked down, Nora, and I love you for it. Um, so, uh, we're gonna continue on, uh, Revenge on Twilight by traveling through time to prevent her and her friends from getting their cutie marks after Starlight is defeated. Uh, yes, Minty? Um, oh, sorry. Nora, Nora, um, sorry. actually, it was to prevent Rainbow Dash from making a Sonic Rainbow to get their cutie marks. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that is, that is technically correct, and that is the best kind of correct. correct. <laughs> That's right. Um, so uh, I so I'll give you half a point there, but that is not that is not actually that is not actually what we're going for here. Um, I'll keep going after Star. I'll keep going after Starlet is defeated and serves her punishment. Starlet becomes Taylor. She never really serves her punishment. Um, that is correct. Right. He didn't say it actually. He didn't say it actually. Thank you, thank you Professor. Uh, did right. you didn't say I'm um, actually. He did not say I'm actually. Oh, I'm very thank sorry. Thank you again, Professor. I'm very sorry. Would anyone else like to buzz in? Um, act moment? um, actually, Starling was never defeated. That is well, not defeated, but yeah, she does. I am actually. <laughs> that is that is correct. Uh, I'm sorry, Taylor. But that's I'm sorry, Taylor. But he, it's yeah. like the one rule. Yeah. Yeah. You fool. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Uh, it's like yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Taylor. I love you, but this is personal. And this is why. Right. And people still wonder why I'm alive right now. You're doing you're doing great, right, man. Alrighty. Uh, all right, let's go on to the next question. All of the main six ponies have pets, including Angel the Rabbit, Winona the Dog, Gummy the Alligator, Pee Wee the Phoenix, Tank the Tortoise, and Nora. Um, actually, Pee Wee is not a pet. Uh, incorrect. No, Pee Wee is not a pet. Uh, Taylor. Um, actually, Pee Wee is actually Spike's pet. That is correct. Pee Wee is Spike's pet, and I talked about the main six ponies. Uh, and um, actually, um, actually, at the end, in the episode, in, I forget which one, but in season three, Pee-wee's back with his family, so he is not a pet anymore! Yes, but at the time of Pee-wee's introduction, it, there was a pet-like, well, no, the point, well, no, the, the point is actually that Pee-wee is not a pet, um, because, it, because... I said Pee-wee's not a pet! Dead! People in the water server, you know what I'm talking about! Dead in the comments! <laughs> Uh, love it. Um, but well, the point is that these, I was talking about the pets of the main six ponies, and that's, that's it was it was that. But I said it is not a pet, and they and I. <laughs> that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> I I yeah yeah if, yeah tell yeah we can we can tally Nora's half points as we go. I've already got. And then and then if she gets two if she gets two halves she gets the whole. I know I've already gotten one whole. <laughs> <laughs> she got half point last one. 
All right, well, whew, this is this is going really great. I'm having a lot of fun. You know, I'm obnoxious. I know this is this is great. Um, so we are now going to go on to our next shiny question, and this one is called "Match the Episode." Now we all know all 222 episodes and movie of the show, right? Right, right, right you guys. Great. Then you won't have any trouble at all uh, matching the episode title to the season that the episode is in. Oh, 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 um, I'm giving these to you. Um, I'm giving these to you face down, so don't flip them over until I tell you. Because that, again, that's the whole point. So is it just the one where you get the point if you match it? Or? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Whoever. Uh, that's right. Whoever gets the most. Whoever gets the most correct gets the point. Ready? All right. And flip them now. All right. I know, right? There's 222 episodes. But you only know the memorable ones. Those are the ones that I did not pick. That's No, that is 96. Excuse you. This is a fa this is a family-friendly adult panel, you fucking asshole. <laughs> We just we need we need to make our eight, we need to make our eighteen plus quotient in swears because this is completely it's this, plus. this is completely clean. Well, no, the the, the show is completely clean. Um, I only chose this because I do volunteer work during the convention, and so I had to put in every eighteen plus, you know, nine o'clock time slot only, just so that I would have a chance of this, you know, actually being able to make this myself. And then I guess you can. Uh, I guess we can kind of, uh, yeah, once we, uh, once we get them all done there, we can uh, get them going. Everyone's drinking water today, right? Yeah, if you haven't been drinking water, get out and drink water. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. Please Make you the daring do proud. That's right. That's right. He wrote some of these questions that I slightly, that I slightly edited because I wanted to have it be in my own voice, and it was also. Fine. And so Fine. these I'm were with you. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Uh, let's go. Let's start with Nora because we're at the end here. Just kind of look. Show them to me, I guess. All right, that so uh, for the first one, for Hard to Say Anything, I think it was in season eight. I can't remember. I will take say off. I know it was season seven. I come around, I can remember it was season nine. I remember Point of Apple was season three because it was a bad seed song. Point of View, I remember that was the uh, one where like all uh, where like Applejack, Ty, and Rarity had like, oh, they do this, they do that, and the boat, and I knew that was season six. and. I can't remember if you can see me because I just put season six. I, I like how you crossed them. I'm sorry, I, I realized. Right in front? I'm sorry, I realized that I needed to actually count how many that were right, so would you actually start over, please? I'm sorry. What? Um, would, you, would you start over with those matches again, please? Because I realized I needed, to take, I needed to take notes on how many that were not correct. Um, okay, so we got our same thing, season eight. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, going on to Minty. Uh, Five, three, nine, four. Stop. <laughs> Stop breaking the suspense. Stop annoying him. He's trying to do his job. No, it's not, no, it's not annoying yet. I'm making, I'm making, I'm making light of this. Yeah, I'm making cover. All right. All right, uh, Taylor, your, your go. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 
<laughs> Man, the next time I do this, it'll it's gonna it's gonna make a lot more sense. <laughs> this is, I will say that this is pretty time consuming. We're just doing this as a budget version, right? Oh, now. absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's that's all that's all I can do here. What is it not a budget version? I know, right? right. I mean, my little match game right now is still budget version. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, okay. All right. Um, all right. So I think, uh, Nora, I believe you got two correct. Uh, Taylor, you got four. And then Minty, I believe you got all of them. Oh. Um, Hard to say anything, season seven. Uh, Apple Jack's Day Off, six. Common Ground, nine. One Bad Apple, three. Pony Point of View, six. And Take a Tea Making, season eight. Uh, yeah, Minty, you got all six correct. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, yes, you have a question. Which one's coming ground? I thought that was from the Colts. So, uh, no, uh, the, what, what episode are you thinking of? The Hopefields and the Colts. So which one's Common That's Hopefields versus Colts. Common Ground, um, Common Ground is, uh, in season nine, it's the second appearance of Pat Oswalt. It's when he also, oh! it's when he also appears, it's also, with a, his daughter. Yeah, with, with his actual daughter and actual wife. Um, all doing all doing voice work in that episode. Yeah. Right. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these. Yeah. As as the seasons go on, you know, they had to you know they had to come up with episode names, and uh, and you know some of these just. I'm losing my touch. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that was great. So. Uh, so point check in here, I believe uh, we got Nora with two points. I have three. Oh, of course you are. Me. Three. Right. I'll, I will count those two halves. Three points. Uh, Minty has five points, and Taylor has three. So it's all. It's still pretty good. This is still pretty good. All right. Going on to the next uh, question. In the Cutie Mark Crusader's first appearance in Call of the Cutie, Apple Bloom becomes socially isolated. Uh, uh, actually, they appear in the first episode. In the that is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Does everyone remember where they all appear? Oh, this isn't for points. Oh, fine. They, the, were, they were at the Nightmare Boots. They were at the Sunset Celebration hiding, shivering together. Yeah, as, as that's right. Looking at them. It's a single shot in the first And also, the they were all credited. They were all credited. Wow. Yep. Oh. Yeah, well, look it up. If you watch the episode, well, you'll see them in the credits. Right. With the voice actors. Wait, were they called the Cutie Mark Crusaders? No, no, they're not. No, they're not. Well, no, what, well, what well, she's talking about is that in season one, like, they just they didn't care about voice credits yet because the fandom didn't exist yet when it was made. <laughs> so um, they just kind of, for the whole first season, they just kind of just did the exact same voice credits for every for everyone. They didn't start getting piecemeal or specific with voice roles until probably I'm going to say season three or so. Because even in season two, they were still kind of just doing featured voice performers, and then that's it. They didn't. They were not doing individual names until, until yeah, like three or four, at, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah, in a single shot at the very end of the first episode, all three of these characters are there. They have, they have, in the timeline of the show, they have not met each other at all. Um, but, we were just talking about that. Yeah, right? I am literally becoming less friendly Mulligan, more Adam Conover, and like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that brings uh, Minty up to six, uh, and here we go to the next question. What was that? Uh, in Pony Point of View, Twilight and Spike try to get the story straight about what happened on the boat that got capsized, despite what Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack's Taylor. Um, actually, it was Pinkie Pie, not Rainbow Dash. That is correct. <laughs> I just said that. Uh, uh, that's correct. I need to be faster. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, that is another question written by Do the Daring Do. Uh, they're really, uh, really helping out here because, because um, again, uh, since I, I put that episode in the match the episode question because it can get kind of passed over as a lot of these episodes can get passed over. Sounds like a good holiday. What was that? Passover sounds like a good holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll be yeah. all. 
Love it. Okay, now there's Love technically it. another um actually because it's oh, yeah? the triboard bun yin, not bun hit. Semantics, but actually this is what that game is about. This game is about spin. So yes, you do you get a point. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Life? Oh my yes. god. Because because <laughs> when I came in in 2000, oh my god. You did. Um, did you do the, um, what is it called? The best gift? Did you do the, the best gift ever episode? Yes. Great, because that does count. Um, weird, yeah, weirdly enough, that, yeah, uh, that the best gift ever episode is counted as an episode, which is why Sparkle 7 is the 200th episode. In case any of your like episode order is messed up. Fun fact: the episode premiered during one of the cider fests. Oh, the the um oh the best gift ever. Yep. Oh, that's so true. cool! In like October. 2018. October. I was oh. there. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah. It's I was a, there, man. It's not as bad as a very minty Christmas uh, that aired on one of the, the Disney channels on December 29th. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Someone's putting yeah. up their other special. All right. All right. Great job. Here we go. Uh, here we go on to our next question. In the season two episode, the super speedy cider squeezy 6000, the con artist, the Flim Flam brothers, convince the citizens of Ponyville to drink their apple cider, which endangers the apple family's business. By the end of the episode, Applejack learns about taking yes. Uh, she actually, she learned absolutely nothing. That <laughs> is <laughs> Applejack doesn't learn anything. She was right all along. I hate myself. <laughs> uh, like I think in like through this whole series, this is the one episode that does not have a lesson at the end. <laughs> Because Applejack does. Oh, are we okay? Um, actually, uh, she never um. defeated the brothers. Uh, the brothers won, and then uh, everyone hated their stuff. Like the yeah. 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 All right, fair enough. You get a point. Yeah. Yeah. If I lose the audience, I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, when uh, when um actually did this at I think at a at a convention somewhere they the had New York Comic Con. New York, oh, yeah, you're aware. Yeah, um, they had a, they had an audience member come up and be like a fourth person, um, and then they also they kind of also had the audience be a collective group there. And they got free T-shirts. Oh, they got free T-shirts. That's cool. I mean, that happened like five years ago, but that, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. They got T-shirts. Um, so I guess collectively the audience has two points. Yeah. So that puts you one point behind Nora. Yeah, then you all did time as we count to yeah. yeah. All right, going on to the next question. Quiet. Thank you. All right. The Land of Equestria contains many fantastical locations like Canterlot, Ponyville, Yak Yakistan, and the Everfree Forest. Yes, Nora? Um, Yak Yakistan is not part of Equestria. Oh, that I'm, is actually, so I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually, Yak Yakistan is not part of Equestria. Oh my god. I, come on, I just, I'll give, yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. That's right. So, um, yeah, so all of these, all of these locations are, are actually canon. Um, I was thinking of putting in a. I was thinking of putting in like a fake convention city, but then, but then I realized I could go even more. I could realize I could go even more pedantic and just put in an actual location that is not part of a question because some people would think that everything is a question, but it's not. It's on the map, the actual map. Um, like people, like Minneapolis does appear in a couple of things, and then uh, California. Um, is 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 can is canon? Um, is it like one of the maps or? It's not. A, it's not on a map. It is mentioned in the author bio for the Ponyville Mystery Series for the Innermost <laughs> Author. Um, yeah. Well, hey, that's the they, they had the, the they had an opportunity for fun, so they took it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also because also because. Um, you know, uh, a certain California convention made its own uh, made its own pun, and so uh, the authors here had to come up with a new one because they can't use a fan created work because then it would be public domain. 
Remember that. Remember the reason why uh, Hasbro can could not trademark the phrase "Main Six M A N E Six is because it was used so often that it was so it was so used by the public that it automatically becomes public domain. But they will use Main Six and write out like the proper noun of it, but it will not. They have no ownership of it because we thought of it first. They also can't trademark Alicorn either. Wow. I, I don't know actually. I don't know the legality about that. But, you know. I'm sure it's with before us and we. Oh, it, oh yeah. Like it, like it exists in fiction or something? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it used to be the term for the uh, just the horn of a unicorn. And I think they had a, a science fiction fantasy book that actually used the term for oh, okay. a horn. Okay, cool. I, well, I guess I guess we just made it I guess we just made it even more popular. Yep. And then it then it, you know and then it shows up the alicorn amulet. Oh, that's that's what it is. <laughs> Because well, because season three, that's you know that's when Alicorn happens, and then they plant this the word Alicorn early on in the in the season. Magic Yep. Yeah. The, yeah. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. So yeah, I got a point. Thank you. You did get a point. That brings you up to five. All right. Um, so we are now on. Now we are on uh, to our last shiny question. And guess what? It is another spot the difference. Oh no! I couldn't do any of the more. I couldn't do any of the more um, complex shiny questions like guess the sound or something because I, I, uh, I, I didn't know if this panel was getting approved yet. So I kind of just. I kind of. Held off on. It's better than nothing. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted, and I also wanted to make it three, so I did a second spot the difference. All right. Um, so you can actually look at the screen for this one if you want to, Nora. If you'd like, I can send the picture to you for that if it helps you better. So help me, please. Help me here. Okay, great. Uh, let me go get that for you real quick. Okay, there we go. All right, here is the picture. <laughs> I, I, I can't see it. No. Oh, I, I just sent it. It might take a little bit to receive. Uh, I, it's in our. Uh, it's in our. The DM group. I literally don't see it. Oh no. Um. Oh, it's still sending. I'm so sorry. Ah. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, All right. Let me see that. I'll just look. That's what I was yeah. Sorry. All right. Uh, I'm on five. I'm on five G ultra wide band with full bars. Why is it not sending a tweet? Why is it not sending a Twitter DM? Uh, uh, anyway, uh, can you? Oh, uh, uh Minty. Uh, Apple Bloom is still a blank filling in that picture. Uh, incorrect. Uh, oh, he didn't, it doesn't have to No, he no, he did say that. Oh yeah, yeah, it, 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 it technically. Yeah, it's it's a little on the show. It's a little it's a little bit. It's yeah. It's kind of interchangeable on whether you want to do. I'm um, actually on that. Yes. Um, yeah. actually in uh, actually uh, Pinkie Pie is twirling and Applejack is not there doing that. Uh, incorrect. This is this is just a smear frame as is in the show. Oh, okay. And it, 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 I'm so glad I'm so glad that this uh, that this screenshot here is of a smear frame because we all love smear frames, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're so much fun. Yeah. Any, and, uh, anything else? Anything else? No. All right. I guess. We're I think any, oh, okay. Any audience answer that one if they can't, or yeah, you can go for it. I mean, if yeah, you want to. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, in the picture, there ain't no one turned to me. And then top of the light. Yes. That yes. is correct. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot the Slender Pony. A border, a, a story border puts Slender Man at the, at the, in the background of this one shot. Yeah, and it also, it's not even for the full length of the shot either. It is just for a couple frames within the shot. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a, this is a, it's a, Minty, you can, Minty, you can correct me on this. This is a, a 30 frame show, right? Uh, 24. 24, oh. Well, actually, um, actually it's 23.97. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. No, wait, you, you sent me the photo. I did, yeah, but that. No, that's not You sent me off Slender Pony. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, that's not good. Oh, 
that's right. I remember why you did that. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, but um, but hey, you, you didn't catch on, and that hey, that works out. That works out good enough, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, so that was that was a lot. That was a lot of fun, and I'm. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad all the. I'm glad that the uh, spot the difference uh, stumped stumped them, and I'm especially proud of you for finding it. Uh, Love it. So, <laughs> right, right. Um, so that brings the audience to three points. Nora with five, Minty with six, and Taylor with four. I think we can see where this is going, because uh, we are now going on to our final question. Oh, and if you know, I'm um, actually you know, oh, yes. you know that final question concerns real life skills. Oh, this no. question has absolutely nothing to do with ponies. <laughs> um, that's the that's the name of the game. <clears throat> on I'm um, um, actually they just do it about yeah about something absolutely not nerdy at all. Um, so well. Yeah, you'll see. Yeah. Real life skills. Uh, here Can we, we look or do we like, still have to? Well, no, no, please. Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not a visual thing. And I, and I do thank you. All right, here we go. You can't enjoy a convention if you're dead. That's why conventions strongly encourage the 6 2 1 rule, which is um, actually it is the minimum requirement. You read ahead, but yes, you are correct. Okay. So thank you very so thank you very much. I, I appreciate your tenacity. But yes, that is correct. Uh, six two one rule. That is uh, six hours of sleep, two meals, and one shower minimum. I showered before this panel. If I can do that, you now can take a shower. That is correct. It is. <laughs> and let me say hey, this. If, it, if it is, you've met minimum, and that's cool. And, and let and me say this. I love you guys. I love you all, but I could smell some of you, and I love you. Yes. I'm showering yes. this yogurt. Yeah. I'm sorry. My nose is like sensitive. Yeah, basic, basic hygiene also helps keep everyone safe from, uh, from airborne diseases and other diseases and uh, viruses that may be on you. And also, um, another thing. Cologne will not... Disguise the scent. I can still smell it. That's correct. Actually, it's gonna draw more attention. Makes it worse. All right. Well, um, and uh, and that is it for the show. Um, so final, final. Uh, um, no, and I'm actually there is always a winner. Uh, so final point total. Audience has three points. Uh, Nora has. Nora and Taylor both have five points, and then our winner is Minty with six points. I'm still wrong! I'm still wrong! <laughs> oh, well, who do we have here? Hey! Hi, Mel! This is actually, we heard this is Yes! Yes! This is, this is it's 18 plus. plus. Okay, wait, one second. It's 18 yeah. plus? Yes, it is. What's up, cunts? <laughs> Australian, so it's totally okay. <laughs> That's like a compliment. Oh, that's Miami for once. Everyone, uh, Bill Newton, Giles Panson, and Josh Abram. <laughs> well, oh. You give good hugs. He just wanted to come in and swear. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi. Hi. Goodbye, motherfucker. <laughs> Fine, abandon us, my dog. Oh, yeah, totally, because we, okay. we're, we're actually at the end here, so it actually worked out perfectly. Oh, okay. All right, goodbye, cunts. <laughs> you up there in the, in the Badger shirt there, I got really concerned for a sec because you have the same phone case as I do, so I thought you had somehow gotten my phone. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Uh, what was that? No, the hat. It says badger. It says badger on the hat. I'm actually. I am right. I'm actually you're a hat. All right. All right. Well, um, uh, we are uh, we are actually under time. It is 9:52, which is great. Um, thank you all so much for coming. This is. Thank you guys so much.
Yeah, this is this is the um, you know this is the end of my tenth year of conventions. This is also this is also the week of my birthday, and so um, you know I I, I just kind of decided to um, you know to close out the tenth year of conventions by doing a panel of myself. Um, I could you know this I'm glad to see how this all worked out. Um, I'm glad that I had such a great turnout here, um, and I'm glad I was able to fill almost this entire hour because I was super afraid of, of, of going short. Um, thank you, and I cannot thank again enough uh, Taylor, Minty, and Nora for agreeing to be here. You promised me senpai. Um, I, didn't, 